Every year, like clockwork, tuition rises at American colleges and universities, but standards fall. Now, at American University in Northwest Washington, where the current price tag is $48,000 a year, professors are being instructed to grade students' essays on their perceived effort, not on the actual quality of their work. Why are they doing this? Well, it's being done in the name of promoting, quote, anti-racist ends. How does this work? Well, let the lesson speak for itself. Quote, white language supremacy is perpetuated in college classrooms despite the better intentions of faculty, particularly through the practice of grading writing. People pay to go to a place like American University. What a joke. Nicholas Giordano is a professor, a professor of politics at Suffolk County Community College, also the host of the PAS Report podcast, and he joins us tonight. Professor, thank you very much for coming on. Hi, Tucker. So, it, white language supremacy basically is another way of saying we're not going to teach the kids anything because it's too hard and it's too painful. This is a very prevalent attitude. Do you notice it, its effects as someone who is teaching kids every day? Well, what we've seen is the collapse of the entire American education system. So in my classroom, we have kids take the citizenship exam on the first day of classes. This semester, every single student failed that exam. I give them an assignment then, and I make them read the Constitution of the United States. I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Every single student in your class failed? How every hard is student. the test? It asks questions like, who is the Speaker of the House? What branch of government can suspend habeas corpus? What type of government we have? And everyone failed. But then it gets better because I give them the United States Constitution to read, only it's not really the United States Constitution, it's the Russian Constitution. And I just replace Russian Federation with United States, and I make them write two paragraphs on it. They read it, write two paragraphs, and then we discuss it the next class. Only three students were able to identify that it wasn't the United States Constitution. And so my students are coming into college with no knowledge of American government, and how can you have an appreciation for America if you don't know America? And so I went and I looked and I researched and I found the National Report Card. It's the largest ongoing assessment of education, of graduating seniors, what they know and can do. Only 11 percent are proficient in American history, 23 percent proficient in government and civics, 22 percent proficient in math, 34 percent proficient in writing and reading, 24 percent proficient in writing and 19 percent proficient in geography. So essentially, these are graduating high school seniors going into college and our proficiency levels on average of all the subjects is 22 percent. And so what's happened is we have, we've done, dumbed down the standards. The system has collapsed. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to sound the alarm bells. We're teaching kids how to take a test and taking a test is not a life skill rather than teaching them knowledge and how to apply that knowledge in the real world. And that's why you see this bonehead professor who wants to make this claim that it's about race when it's not because it cuts across all races, all socioeconomic backgrounds. It doesn't matter if you're rich yeah. or poor. I mean, we're turning these kids loose into a world they can't compete in. It's cruel what we're doing. Well, would I you think. call a plumber that's only 22% proficient in plumbing? No. I, I mean, or and I don't know why I'm laughing. This is our country. This is the future of the country, and you are on the front lines of it. Professor, one of the very few professors we're proud to have on the show. Thank you very much. For Thank that you update. for having me.